Hey, what's up guys? So recently I made a video about how to find the first non-repeating character in a string um, using Clojure, but I mapped those Clojure solutions direct from Java. So today we're going to focus on the Clojure solution. So let's get started. Uncle Gear. So just to very briefly cover the problem, we need a function that given a string will return the first character that doesn't repeat within the same string. So here we have AABCC. The first character that doesn't repeat is B. So if you want to check the solutions to solve that problem, you can see that video here. But for now, I'm going to show you a really cool closure solution. So the big thing that I want to reduce is this part here. So this reduce function. So I'm just going to copy it here and I'm going to put in a string here of hello. So this reduce is basically counting the occurrences of each character and then adding it to a map. So H occurs once, E occurs once, L occurs twice and O occurs once. But this whole thing can be replaced with one function and that's the frequencies function. So frequencies, let me just do it here, run it. Frequencies takes in a collection and does this exact thing. So we'll have H1, E1, L2, and O1. So now what we can do is for our closure solution, def closure solution, we'll take in a string. Cool, so our solution is going to be the same as solution one, where we loop through our string and then we check the first occurrence of where that character's count is one, then we return it. So let's pass through hello here. So we'll loop through the string hello and we'll see that H occurs twice, so we don't return it. H occurs twice, so we don't occur it. E occurs once, so we return it. And that's the solution. So let's implement that enclosure. So the first thing we need to do is filter our string and we want to pass you an anonymous function here where we check if the current character is equal to one. And the way we'll do that is because we'll have a character and the character will be represented by a percentage sign. So we need to get that character from this map. So to look up the character, we can go get in our map and our map will be frequencies of S and then we need to check that that will equal to one. So basically what this is doing, if we pass through here and we had frequencies of hello, this would pass through the character H and we'll get two and E would be one. So this would be the key in our map. So now if we ran this and just get rid of the list and wrote closure solution and pass through Hello, we'll get a list back of all possible answers, but we want the first one. So the easiest way to just get the first one is if we wrap this in first. And there we go, we have our closure solution. Awesome, so I hope you guys found this useful. This was just a quick short follow-up video. I should hopefully have a new video next week. Thanks guys, bye.